We've had quite a few snake stories. You like snakes <laughs> and you like sharks. Things that most people don't. Uh, it's true. It's true. Although I think sharks have a following. I do. Yes, I think and summer. To. Eric, you know what? It all goes together. <laughs> I like Lee Socks. She appreciates all the, uh, you know, the wildlife out there, whether it's something that can eat you or otherwise. Take a look at some of our headlines here over the next couple of days. Best chance of rainfall is going to be tomorrow. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms likely, but generally great beach weather. Most of the storms avoid the shoreline for tomorrow. And then we're watching a cold front that will sweep through to start the this weekend, a little bit more rain with that, and then some beautiful weather on the way for Sunday. Outside this evening, temperatures mainly in the 80s, just a summertime air mass all across the Northeast. Not too hot, not too cool. It's basically right on average for this time of the season. And a weak area of high pressure has been kind of drifting across the Ohio Valley. Most of the good forcing, meaning a stronger cold front, something to actually make widespread storms, is going to stay off to our north and west this week. Tomorrow's the only exception where there'll be a chance for a little more widespread rain. And tonight, there there is one lone downpour. It's been right over the eastern eastern area and east side of Mansfield, and basically there's a couple of neighborhoods where it's been pouring for the last half hour, and that's it. So you will have the greenest lawns in the entire area without rainfall out there tonight. Any activity will diminish after sunset. Temperatures hold in the 60s overnight. Tomorrow's another very warm and muggy day. We'll be in the 70s in the morning. Clouds are building by lunchtime, and then right after lunch, that's where we have a chance for some of these scattered downpours to develop. So temperatures will hold in the 80s, a muggy afternoon. Afternoon, and we'll be watching that rainfall, not expecting any you know, severe weather or organized severe weather. Main issue is going to be for some locally heavy rain. High temperatures almost identical to what we just had out there this afternoon. And in terms of the best odds of seeing some of these downpours, I think it'll be on a line from Boston to Providence north and west. This is where we have the best chance for some heavier rainfall throughout the afternoon and into the early evening. A lower chance toward the south coast and the Cape. And then you notice by 930, everything's gone as the sun sets. All the activity Activity this week is driven by the sun. Then we head into Thursday and a slight chance of some pop up storms, mainly for far interior areas of New England for Thursday and Friday as well. So, again, our best odds kind of a 50 50 chance for rain is tomorrow. Lower risk for Thursday and Friday, well north and west of Boston, the best chance of a little rainfall. And then Saturday with that front, a chance for some scattered rain as well. So again, the farther north and west you go, you increase those odds for afternoon storms. The Lakes region, they'll be around the area Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday afternoon. Won't be an all-day thing, so you'll have to cancel plans. But if you're going to be out in the lakes, definitely want to keep an eye to the sky. Lower rainfall risk toward the Cape and the south coast. Near 80, bright skies. Next three days, beautiful week for vacation. And here's a look at your AccuWeather 7-day. Saturday, a few scattered showers and storms. Sunday, we dry things out. Should be a great Sunday for the PMC. Lisa and David will watch Saturday, see how widespread that rainfall is going to be. Let's hope not. <laughs> Too widespread. Fingers crossed. All right.